Hello and welcome to episode four of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you the basics of tagging in Evernote. And I really want to stress the word basics of tagging because there are a lot of you can actually get quite complicated and quite complex with tagging, but that's going to come into in a later episode when we move towards the more advanced levels of Todoist. But for today, I just want to show you how to add a task, how to add a tag to a note. Now we have two ways of doing this. You can go up here and click and click on it and add the tag, which is up here, or uh, you can go to the dedicated tag window which I have here now at the moment I have no tags and you can click on plus and then add your tag so this note is about exercise so I can create the tag by just clicking exercise now because I've not allocated any tasks to this uh, tag at the moment let's go back to my original note now all I have to do is I can click on here and I can type in exercise exercise now normally you would get the drop down window for that but anyway I didn't now I could add continue adding tags and in this case let's add a tag called planning because it's planning um, so now I have two tags in there if I go back to my tag window you'll see that I have two tags now a quick point on tagging you need to make a decision of whether you're going to use capital letters or little letters. Now, it is my habit to use capital letters, so I stuck with that convention. But maybe you don't normally use capital letters or and you're quite comfortable using little letters. So by all means, use little letters, but make it consistent. The reason I say that is because it makes it easier when you start to use Evernote's search function, uh, which is quite incredible however it is so powerful i'm leaving that for a later episode because i want to go into a bit more detail on how you can use search and save searches so for tagging i would recommend that you actually when you set up and start using evernote start getting used to using tagging and my only advice at this stage with tags is make keep them as simple and logical as possible so for example exercise it's very easy for me to find that tag. Planning, if I can keep all my planning notes in one area, I can keep it there. So don't go too complex on tagging. Try to keep it to one word. I know it's not always possible. For example, in my main Evernote account, I have a tag called Ian Fleming. I have a big interest in the creator of James Bond, and I keep a lot of articles and notes and things on Ian Fleming in that tag now obviously Ian Fleming is two words two names so um, you can use two names but I strongly recommend that where possible use just one word for the tag and make it as logical and obvious as possible so there's the basics of tagging as I said before we will go into more detail in tagging and systems and so on in later episodes when we go into a more advanced level of Todoist. But for today, I just wanted to show you how you can add a tag to a note. And just keep in mind with tags, both these tags say I've got one note in it. So I can click on planning, it comes up in there. And I can click on exercise and the same note will come up in that. Okay, so I hope that has been useful for you, particularly for those of you who are new. I know for those of you who've been using Evernote for a long time, tagging, you will have your own systems uh, and that's fine. I'll go through my system at a later date. But for now, I just wanted to keep it to the basics. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And please, please don't forget to subscribe to get the latest effort Evernote videos as I publish them. So until the next episode, have a very productive week and I will see you in episode five.